Hi everyone and welcome to day three of our video series about how to detox with yoga and Ayurveda. Today I want to talk about how to detox with food and lifestyle practices. Just as a quick reminder, in video number one, I talked about what is detox and what is AMA. Yesterday, we talked about how to detox with yoga and mindfulness. And today, we will look into lifestyle practices and food and diet. So how do we detox with lifestyle practices? The first thing is any kind of body hygiene. So I know you all take a shower and wash your face every day, but in Ayurveda, we go a step further. So in Ayurveda, we clean our tongue every day, we wash our face, we wash our, wash our eyes, um, we clean our nose with a neti pot, for example, and we eliminate every morning. So we will try to have a bowel movement every morning. To support this a little bit, you can drink warm water with lemon in the morning because it really stimulates peristalsis. Another really good thing to detox is sunlight. And with sunlight, I don't mean to lay in the sun for three hours and get sunburned, but more to be outside in the morning for 10 to 20 minutes. Use a hat that you don't get burned if your skin is sensitive and you will feel how the sun gives you energy, it increases lightness, it kindles acne, so your digestive fire, and it can really help with skin conditions such as eczema or water retention. So just try to start your day with 10 minutes um, outside. You can just open a window if you can't go outside or go for a quick walk. Other Ayurvedic practices that you can use during your detox is dry brushing because as we learned, the skin is one of our detoxification organs. So if we use a dry brush, which is basically a brush you can buy it in your health store or on Amazon, and before you get in the shower, you brush your whole body and this will increase circulation and it will also remove dead skin cells. A little bit related to this is Abhyanga or self oil massage, where you massage your body with a warm oil. You can use sesame oil or coconut oil are really nice. Um, and let it soak in for a couple of minutes. Then you go into the shower and shower it all off. And this is really good to increase um, again, lymphatic drainage, circulation of blood to the skin, but it also is a really good push for your self loss. Uh, the next really good thing during a detox is any kind of gentle movement. So yoga, going for a walk, yin yoga classes, pilates, any kind of gentle movement is very beneficial. Again, to get circulation going and to really kindle our digestive fire and support digestion. Also time in nature is really good and sweating is really good. So inside my 21 day Ayurvedic detox, I will show you a couple of practices how you can sweat at home. And also we want to relax during a detox. So this is not the time for big changes in your life. So don't move during this time. Don't start a new project during this time. Really try to clean out your calendar as much as possible and just focus on yourself and your body and give your body the rest that it needs to do its job. And the last thing here that I want to mention is to go to bed early. So especially during a detox, try to go to bed by 10 p.m. As I said in one of the other videos, the liver, which is our main organ of detoxification, is most active at night. So we want to be in bed most of the time it is working. So love your liver a little bit and go to bed as early as possible. So let's now talk about how to detox with food. And we continue to love our liver here. So try to eat better food and fiber because this is really good for your liver. A good thing to eat for your liver are any kind of dark leafy greens. So you can start your day with a green juice or eat any kind of broccoli, cucumber, spinach, romaine, fresh herb, any kind of green vegetables are really good 
for your liver and therefore for your detox. You also want to drink only warm water with maybe lemon or some kind of ginger or a little bit herbs inside or herbal tea. Don't drink any sugary drinks. Try to eliminate alcohol and coffee from your diet. I know it's difficult, but maybe just try it for the detox. I also recommend that you eat your meals regularly. So eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and try to eat them at around the same time every day. Also, you can try to make lunch your biggest meal because during lunchtime, our digestive fire, our acne is the strongest and you can digest the best. So make sure that your biggest meals and your heaviest meals are during that time of the day. Also, don't snack. So only focus on the three meals a day because we want to give the body three to four hours between every meal so that it can digest well before we put something new in there. However, I don't want you to deprive yourself. So in Ayurveda, our goal is not to do like a juice fest or a water fest where you don't eat anything. In an Ayurvedic detox, you will eat and you should not feel deprived. We will just exclude a couple of food groups from our diet and at some point eat a mono diet. So we eat the same meal for a couple of days to give the body a rest and that it knows exactly what's coming. And I will tell you more about this in a couple of minutes. And the last thing is to eat mindfully. So to Sit down to eat, take a few breaths, chew your food well, get rid of any distractions and really enjoy your food, focus on the taste, focus on the consistency and really enjoy your meal. On this next slide, you see a couple of tips on how to detox with Ayurveda. These are very simple guidelines that you can follow. I will quickly go through them. But... Um, you can make this your own. So in general, you want to favor on the pungent, the pitta and the astringent taste and reduce the sweet and salty taste. When it comes to fruit, try to eat sour fruit um, and not so many sweet fruit. For grains, focus on whole grains like quinoa or brown rice and don't eat any processed or starchy grains. For oils, you can eat um, ghee, avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, but don't have any processed oils. You can um, reduce or avoid any dairy, eggs, fish and meat during the detox. When it comes to sweeteners, the only sweetener that is somehow accepted in Ayurveda is honey. But if you can manage, I would recommend to reduce or avoid any kind of sweeteners during an active detox. And for drinks, you want to focus on warm water and teas and avoid any kind of iced, chilled drinks, sugary drinks or coffee. And just a few words on kitchari. Kitchari is the food of choice when it comes to detoxing. Um, it is a dish prepared out of basmati rice, mung beans, ghee and spices. It is quite comforting and in India it is actually not a detox food. It is more a food that your mom would prepare you when you feel sick. So it's basically the chicken soup of India. And here on the slide I wrote down a couple of things why kitchari is so great. So first of all, it is easy to digest. Rice is really easy to digest. Also, mung beans are really easy to digest. They are not like other beans that make you gassy. Mung beans are very easy to on your digestive tract and will not produce any um, intestinal gas. In addition, kitchari is a complete source of protein, which means it has all the necessary amino acids required for the body in it. In addition, kitchari improves your metabolism. So in Ayurveda, we call this our acne. And this is, as I said in the first video, really important that we not only manage armor, but also our acne. And kitchari, because it's prepared with all the spices, is very good to fire up your internal fire. 
It is also a great detox food because the mung beans indicate that we have enough fire to help remove toxins from the GI tract. And it is a really good food to keep the blood sugar level stable. Because if uh, maybe you experience this yourself with another detox that um, where you only uh, had juice or water, for example, for a lot of people, that's very dangerous because their blood sugar level falls up and you get like all shaky and you can't concentrate anymore. And kitchery is preventing this and it's not putting the body into any kind of stress because these kind of water fasts are really extreme fasts. If you feel shaky and if your blood sugar level falls off, this is also stress for the body. And again, this will lead to holding on to fat instead of letting go of fat. So this was a quick overview of kitchery. Try it yourself. There are a ton of recipes out there. It is a really, really yummy meal that I hope you will enjoy. I would recommend you try to eat it for at least three days. So for breakfast, lunch and dinner and give it a try because it is really good for you. If you're not sure on how to detox the Ayurvedic way yourself, you can check out my 21 day Ayurvedic spring detox. We start on April 5th, but if you sign up before March 28th, so or March 28th, the Sunday at midnight, until then, we have early bird pricing where you can save $100. And in this detox, you will get a full spring detox ebook, a detox toolkit guide. You will get a shopping list with my favorite products, a daily journal, a before and after journal to figure out how toxic you are before and after the detox. You get detox yoga flows. You get a three seven-day detox meal plans, of course, including a kitchery recipe. We will have video lectures just like this and live calls where you can ask your questions. So I hope to see you there. Make sure you sign up and I see you soon. Bye.